Hey there, I'm very excited to show you my today's puzzle since it is an exclusive puzzle. It was made by a young puzzle designer from Elamite Prints. The name of the puzzle is The Broken Crane. Only 10 copies of this puzzle were made in February and for starting from March, only one copy of this puzzle will be sold a month. So it will be quite a rare puzzle. And as you can see, it is already quite interesting since it looks completely different to all puzzles that I usually show to you. It really looks like a crane. The objective of the puzzle is a little bit complicated. The first part is to remove the coins that are here on top. They are locked with this bar. And the second object is to put two coins on this side of the arm of the crane and make sure that the arm will stay parallel to the ground. It will be a challenge since it is not easy to do so. As soon as you remove the coins, the arm will drop down. But you have to find a way how to keep it parallel to the ground. If you already love this puzzle and you want to have it in your collection, I will put a link to Elamite Prints Etsy page. Maybe you will have a chance to buy it next month. And if you want to see the solution of this puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's try to solve the broken crane puzzle. It does look like a crane. There is an arm which I can move. There is a rubber band here and it is a part of the puzzle. You can't remove it. You can remove it, but you have to keep it there. There is a coin. There are two coins here and they are locked with this bar. And that's it. The first objective of the puzzle is to remove the coins. And the second one is quite complicated and I don't think that I really understand it for now. It looks like I have to remove the coins, then put them on this side of the arm and make sure that the arms stay parallel to my desk. But if I remove the coin and remove the bar here, the arm will drop immediately because there is a rubber band here and it will push it down. So that's quite complicated for now. Let's take a closer look how to remove the coins. They are big and I can't slide them out, obviously. That wouldn't be a puzzle at all. Let's see, there are a couple of pieces here that hold the bar and I can move them. Probably I have to find a tool that I can use to remove these things. And there is another part that goes from this side to this side. I can, oh, I can push it as well. Uh, okay, I can push it a little bit, but I can't even grab it to remove. So obviously I have to find some kind of a tool, but what is the tool? Maybe this orange part can be disassembled. No, it, it looks like a one piece that was 3D printed. Don't think something can be removed. Oh, there is a name printed on the back, Ella. I, get, I guess it's Elamite Prints, the name of the brand. There is a small cutout right here in this piece. But I don't think I can remove something from that cutout. Oh, okay. That was easy to remove the bar. But I don't think it will help me to remove the coin. I have to find another way. Okay. Maybe there is some kind of a tool here. No, again, it feels like a solid piece. There are no things that I can remove, but there is a cutout right in here. Oh, okay, I can push the piece that locks the bar with the arm of the crane, but I can't really remove it now. It is too small. Ow. Okay, but yeah, both of these parts I'll lock in the bar. I have to find a way how to remove it. Oh, that's quite interesting. There is a part right here that doesn't feel like a solid print. Oh, I can remove it. And you know what? It looks exactly the size of the parts that lock this piece. Like so, oh, yeah, I can remove the first lock. I can remove the second one. That's great. And probably I can remove the bar that is on the bottom. How to do it? Yeah. Okay. 
this one is different and I don't think it was locking anything here. So it is some kind of a tool that I have to use. And this part, it, it feels like I have to put the rubber band here. I have no idea why, but it feels like so. Okay, let's try to remove the coin. The bar is removed and the coins are free. Okay, now what I have to do? The second part, the first part is done. So I have to put the arm back with the string. Yeah, but it is not possible to hold it like this. I need something really heavy here so that the arm will not fall down. What if we just lock it again? Ah, okay, I can solve it this way and put the coins on top, but the instructions of the puzzle says that the arm is supposed to stay parallel to the desk, like so. But when the coins are removed, it goes down a little bit. So that will not count as a solution. It's supposed to be like this, but not facing down. But how to do it with the coins removed and the coins being on this part. Let's think a little bit harder. There is a part here. It is obviously a part of the solution. Let's see what I can do. Maybe I can use one of these pieces or both of them. Stick it inside. Oh, okay. That's definitely something that I was looking for. The black part is a little bit different on the left side as you can see, and it fits just perfect this way inside the arm. Okay, let's see what I can do next. And maybe if I, oh, maybe I can use this. Oh no, maybe I can put these two together like this. And then put them on a crane, something like so and hold the arm. Ooh, let's see if it is possible. That doesn't look right since it's not gonna hold the arm. Both parts are falling down anyways. Ooh, this part, I told at the very beginning that I can put the rubber band in it. And I can put rubber band on both sides. Okay. And this piece, it has a cutout right here. It was definitely made on purpose. So this goes here. This one probably I can fit inside the rubber band. That looks good. And I think that I have to lock this part so that I don't have to hold the arm. Ooh, maybe. Maybe this is it. Oh, wait a second. If I put this part here, it will be long enough to reach this gray piece. Like so, probably. Uh, okay, let's try it again. So this goes here. This black piece goes inside. Where is the cutout? Right there. So let's see, the, the arm, oh, the arm goes down anyways. Oh, okay, the gray piece, the, the cutout in the gray piece is made in such a way that it works well only when it is facing the right direction. Oh, that is interesting. Let's put it, oh, no, 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 no. Everything's supposed to go back. This gray piece will be right here. And the black piece goes in here. Yeah, it still bends slightly. Why? Why it does it? It is supposed to hold the arm. Oh, now it is held pretty well. It is parallel to the ground. I can even unlock it. And now I can put the coins on top. Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah, the most difficult part is to put coins on top of the arm. And the puzzle is solved. I can even lock the rest here, but I'm not gonna do it right now. And that looks like a solution of the puzzle. That was my attempt to solve the broken crane puzzle. That was different, that was unusual, and I don't remember any other puzzles that I can compare to the broken crane. The solution wasn't difficult to find, it took me about 10 minutes, uh, but this puzzle has two objectives. The first one was to remove the coin, and the second one, which is much more harder, is to put the coin on the side of the arm and make sure the arm will stay parallel to the ground. This part was a little bit more difficult, but if you know a little bit of physics and you find all the necessary tools, you will be able to figure out the way how to solve it. But the puzzle is exclusive. Only one copy will be sold each month. I'm very lucky that I have this puzzle straight from the puzzle designer. I will put a link to Elamite Prints Etsy page in the video description since uh, they have many more other puzzles to offer and maybe you want to try some other puzzles made by Elamite Prints. And that's all for me for today. Thank you for watching and as always hit the like button, subscribe and see you in my next video.